Hello, everybody. I'm here with Dr. Homan Zade. He is a gastroenterologist here in the Coachella Valley. Palm Tree Clinical Research is where we are, and he's getting ready to kick off an amazing study. We're going to find out about this clinical trial and how you can actually participate. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for inviting me and having me here. Of course. Thank you. So we're talking about NASH, something that I have just learned about today. Can we maybe elaborate for the viewers exactly sure. what NASH is? NASH uh, stands for non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Uh, it really what it is is uh, uh, a load of fat in the liver for various different reasons. And liver is not made to see uh, too much fat in it. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, it uh, reacts to it like any other organ that reacts to it by, um, by uh, inflammatory changes and scarring. Mm -hmm. And this is what NASH is really at the end of the day is too much scarring in the liver which is uh, harmful to the liver itself. And non-alcoholic, and more importantly. Correct. Right. So who, who suffers from NASH? Who, does, who usually finds that they have NASH? So you'll be surprised. There are lots and lots of patients uh, walking around that I see in my office every day who have NASH. Um, you stress the point that this is a non-alcoholic kind of situation because alcohol itself could also uh, uh, create uh, fat in the liver and deposit fat in the liver. So these are people who are uh, obese. These are people who have uh, uncontrolled diabetes, uncontrolled uh, lipid panels, you know, high cholesterol levels, high you know, uh, triglyceride levels. Mm -hmm. Certain medications could also do this to them. Uh, but, it's, uh, but you could see it in a you know, broad spectrum of patients that we see every day. Okay, I see. So let's talk about some of the treatments that are now available. So the mainstream of treatment is uh, uh, change in lifestyle. Uh, we tell patients to at least lose about 15% of their body weight. Okay. And that typically works for most people, but not for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, as of today, there are not too many medications out there for NASH. There's only one medicine that works, uh, but it's not the best. It's a, you know older kind of generation medications. So uh, there's a great need for uh, new research, new trials, new medications uh, to treat this uh, uh, condition. This will become a, uh, um, uh, a public health hazard, in my opinion. Uh, it, it, liver transplant is the only cure for cirrhosis. And the, uh, the end stage of NASH ultimately is cirrhosis. People, 40% of people with uh, NASH will end up having cirrhosis. And we don't know which group will end up there. Uh, hepatitis C used to be the most common reason why people got liver transplanted. But as we're uh, developing better and better medications for hepatitis C, and that's going away, NASH is kind of taking over as, uh, as a you know, healthcare crisis now. Uh, causes cirrhosis, and uh, the ultimate cure for this is uh, liver transplant. Mm -hmm. And there's only one liver out there for four people who are waiting for it. I see. Okay. So as far as the reverse NASH clinical study is concerned, how can people get involved? So my office and uh, uh, Palm Tree Research, we're, we're partnering in these uh, uh, clinical trials that, that are coming our way. Very exciting trials, new medications that are coming out uh, that uh, we like people to participate in. Uh, these medications really are meant to reverse inflammation, reverse scarring, and ultimately reverse cirrhosis. Mm -hmm. Um, there are strict criteria to enroll in these studies, or in inclusion and exclusion criteria. And uh, if people are interested, you know, in our interview that we do, the initial baseline interview and the consultation that we do, uh, we could uh, really identify who's able to participate in these studies or not. Got it. Okay. Palm Tree Clinical Research, it's right here for you. You can find Dr. Homan here and uh, join this clinical trial if it uh, suits you. Most definitely. We appreciate you. We'll see you after the break.